Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is another questions and answer session with uh, people asking, viewers asking questions all around about 19H2. The first question that a lot of people ask because a lot of you have read in different places on the web and I had also heard rumors, nope, 19H2 is still not released. We are Wednesday, October 9th. We are still waiting for an official release of this build of Windows. It's not released. It, uh, some rumors are actually saying that yesterday there could have been a release as, uh, with Patch Tuesday. The rumors came also because there's a lot of diversions in the past that had been released uh, close or on Patch Tuesday, and it did happen a few times. So, of course, a lot of people were kind of hoping that that would be the case. The uh, other question is, what news do we have about release dates or anything? Nothing. It's very quiet. And that is what makes this build another weird one. Uh, once again, the first few builds of Windows 10, we always knew kind of advanced. Okay, this is the real deal. This is what you could do. This is when you can actually remove yourself from insider program. Uh, that was clear for a while. Until then, it became very weird and we just didn't know anything anymore and didn't know if it was still, you know, are we there, are we not there, and so on. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of complicated. So, uh, some of you ask me, so what's the good build? The one with the big number, 10,000, or the one with the small number? Uh, answer to that question, both are good builds. <laughs> it's just that they are a little bit different in the branch and uh, maybe just uh, tweaking of some of the features. Now, a lot of you said, is it going to stay in the 10,000 something? I don't think so. I think the bill number, the official bill number, when it will be released, will be 18363. So just one bill number above the May 2019 update. But it will probably be that small number. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually, that the bill numbers, so 18362 and 18363, will follow themselves, meaning that each build will have the same ending dot whatever. So uh, that because we've learned that the same updates will apply to both. Once again, showing us that there's very little difference between 19H2 and, and, and 19H1 or the May 2019 update. Um, of course, some of you have been asking me, will there be a media creation tool update? And should I update my uh, USB thumb drive or DVD or here's the thing there will be uh, surely an update I, I, I'm pretty sure that they will have an update on the media creation tool when 19H2 is there because that will contain 18363 um, so yes if you want to upgrade your media your, your device your bootable device with, with the latest image well, when it is officially released, well, that will, of course, be the new image that is available. Um, some of you have asked me, are you going to update that bootable device? And here's the thing. If it would be a full build, meaning that it is a big new update, like 20H1 is going to be early next year, I would tell you, yeah, you know, you can update your device with the, the rebootable device, your USB thumb drive or DVD with the latest image. Because that you'll be possible, you know, you'll be able to do. Where I'm not sure of all of that anymore is this is a cumulative update. This is something that will just appear as a cumulative update that doesn't take that long to install, which kind of tells me that I would probably keep my bootable devices to May 2019 and um, I don't know I'm not sure honestly the ideal way of looking at the situation would be to have uh, maybe a couple of boot devices the more and more when I look at the new versions and how sometimes they impact I think that having several boot devices with different versions of Windows 10 is not a bad idea you know like keeping the uh, 1903 and if you want getting the uh, latest image and it's not available yet so don't go looking for it we're still on the May 2019 update 
by having the latest boot device, of course, you have the latest versions. And that's probably what is the most important for a lot of you. So that's something to check out. But it's kind of interesting. And uh, yeah, it is, um, it is. There's a lot of questions here in, in 19H2. And uh, the, the fact that they're extremely quiet on 19H2 is something that is also a little interesting. You know, they're doing like the May 2019 update. It was very, very quiet. And then they decided, OK, here's go. Here it goes. We're, we're releasing this now. So, you know, is this going to be released in November finally? Because they're testing it out a lot. It is uh, any, anybody's guess. They're so quiet that you have no idea. So that's pretty much. Um, as for the rest, you know, I have no glitches, really. It works great. Um, I, I can't say that there's anything bad with 19H2. So... Yeah, when it arrives, it's a cumulative update, like I said, uh, that you can actually optionally install. And you'll see when it gets there. But uh, as of now, today, October 9th, 2019, we are still on the May 2019 update. 19H2 is not released yet. And stay tuned. I will post a video as soon as we know it's officially there. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.